Okay, so I said I didn't have any green in my wardrobe, but I forgot I have something green in my wardrobe. And this is about as Christmassy holiday as it's ever gonna get. And I wore red lipstick, so. There you go, Merry Christmas. So by the time this video goes up, the holidays will be in full swing, which means there's also a lot of pressure to buy gifts, spend money, and potentially go into debt to show someone we care. So the thing is, even though I loved shopping for myself, I think I loved shopping for others just as much. It's fun receiving gifts, but it's even more fun to give gifts. So how do you do that when one, you're in debt, or two, you just, want to stick to your budget. So we're going to talk about that in today's video. And if this is something that you might see some value out of, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out for the whole YouTube algorithm thing. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more videos like this, please. So I will say that the holidays are stressful. They're supposed to be about relaxing, taking some time off, being with family, but mostly the holidays are about online rush orders, running to the mall last minute, waiting in huge lines, busting through crowds. And you know, it's all for good intention. I think we want our family and friends to have great experiences. We want to be good hosts and we want to be generous. But at what cost, really? So my first tip to avoid going broke this holiday is to budget your giving and budget that within your means. Within your means is the key point here. You don't wanna charge all your gifts on the credit card and push it to blue January to be shocked and saddened and depressed about how much you spent. Giving gifts often come with the best intention, but in my experience, it's never the gift that is the most memorable thing. It's the time that you spent with that person, the experience of spending that holiday together, and this year maybe it'll be over Zoom, but it'll still be something memorable. They're not gonna remember that you gave them an iPhone that's gonna be obsolete in the next year, they're gonna remember that time that they had with you. So remember to keep that in the back of your mind as you go through this holiday shopping season. But if you do have some gifts that you wanna give or even contribute maybe let's say food or a bottle of wine or some baking to the holiday experience this year, then budget your giving within your means. So for me, I use the every dollar budget and even when you're in debt, the very first line on that budget is giving. So giving is something that, at least in the Dave Ramsey method, is prioritized no matter where you are in your debt repayment or financial freedom journey. Around holiday season or even birthdays, whatever it is, if there's a gift that you need to give, then budget for it ahead of time. Because you want that gift to be a joy, not a burden. And if you're still paying for it months and months later on your credit card, then I don't think it's that joyous. The next thing to do is to communicate expectations with your loved ones. And be clear about it. Be honest. And this goes for any gift giving occasion, whether it be holiday, birthdays, weddings, anniversaries. Be explicit about your expectations. If you don't wanna receive gifts, then tell that person up front. Or if you don't wanna give gifts or even don't have the means this year to give gifts, then be clear with family and friends up front that not this year. And some people will get mad, you know? Some people will be pissed at you. So I think a deeper conversation might have to come out of that and it might be a difficult conversation. But if you're communicating and setting your boundaries up front, that's the best that you can do for yourself. Because especially if you're in debt and you're really working hard to get out of it, protect your plan. And I think true friends and family will really want you to succeed and they'll understand. Third is to realize less gifts does not mean less love. So just because you might be with limiting your financial boundaries this year or your gift giving and shopping boundaries doesn't mean that your intentions were any less loving and doesn't mean that you love the person any less. I think Christmas especially and holiday has really been blown out of proportion in terms of what we think the expectations are in terms of gift giving. I think we're bombarded with advertisements and expectations and seeing all these different experiences on Instagram and YouTube. And that to me isn't really reality. If you ever watch Home Alone, the McAllisters were loaded. <laughs> Or maybe they weren't, maybe they were the Joneses and were living broke, but Christmas is that big and that grandiose and going on a trip every single Christmas or going to New York and having a huge pile or hotel room filled with presents probably isn't what everybody's Christmas or holiday looks like. And just because there's more presents doesn't mean there's more love. And just because there's less presents doesn't mean there's any less love to go around for that holiday. Which brings me into my next point, and it's realize that spending more on a gift doesn't mean you're giving them more love. Things don't need to cost a lot for them to be meaningful or for the gesture to say what you're trying to say to somebody. 
Wish lists and gifts every year end up becoming more and more expensive while wages stay the same. You know, for the average person, I don't think giving these crazy grandiose gifts is that realistic. So don't put that pressure on yourself because at the end of the day, spending more money doesn't mean that you love the person any more than you already do. The fifth thing to consider is that gifts don't need to cost a lot or anything at all. And I think it's the meaning behind the gift that really carries the value of what you're trying to give. So a meaningful gift doesn't have to be an iPad, an iPhone, a laptop, or a Chanel bag. It can be passing on a book that changed your life to somebody. It can be cooking somebody dinner when we can finally see people again. It can be setting a date to go on a hike together. It can be donating to a charity in somebody's name. Gifts don't have to be things and they don't have to be expensive in order to pass along meaning and value to somebody else. Tip number six is to meet in the middle. I think being honest is never wrong, so if there's something that you simply cannot afford to give this year that someone is expecting you to give them, I think explaining that you really want that person to have that gift, that thing, you understand that it's very important to them, but explaining that you might not be able to afford it this year, but maybe there's some way I can help you get that gift. Maybe you can save throughout the year for it and I can contribute a certain amount so you can get it a little faster. Maybe I'll drive you to go pick up the item and we can spend that time together and try to figure out how it works. You know, you might wanna really see somebody enjoy that thing and you wanna genuinely help them get it. But try to find a way that still respects your own financial boundaries and your own financial limits. If you're really working hard to get out of the buy now, pay later mindset and really trying to live within your means, live below your means and stick to a goal, holidays and gift giving can be a real obstacle. So it's something that we really need to learn to face. And I think there's some middle ground that we can find to kind of do both without really derailing your plan and in a way that sort of keeps you confident and on track for the rest of the year. And my final tip is to remember, not everybody is going to understand. If someone does get mad at you for sticking to your boundaries and being vocal about your boundaries, it's not you, it's them. At the end of the day, your finances are not their finances, your situation is not their situation, and your values might not be theirs. I think try to remember that the holidays aren't about gifts. They're about slowing down, relaxing, watching good movies, eating good food, and just chilling out. I think at the end of the day, no one really ever remembers the gifts that they got, but they do remember the experience. They remember the experience of the gathering, of the food, of the smells, the laughs, the jokes, and even the fights. So if someone gets upset with you, maybe they need that reminder and maybe they won't listen. It's really hard to say and not everyone's family and friends and situation is the same as others and is as storybook as we might expect. But I think at the end of the day, do your best to stick within your boundaries and avoid those pressures because you're trying to do something for yourself. True friends, true cheerleaders are gonna be there to support you regardless. They might not like it, but you have a plan and do your best to honor that. So the holidays are stressful. There's a lot of pressure to spend and to buy, but just remember that more money spent and more stuff doesn't mean more love, even if it feels like it sometimes. Let me know how you're spending your holidays this year and what you're doing about any pressures to gift, to give, and how you're staying within your means to do that. Leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then go ahead and subscribe. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.